got out of the shower and is ready to travel again. Hi, I'm Bhumika, and this time I'm traveling to one of my favorite countries, which is Japan. And I love Japan. The food there is amazing. People are really good. It's such a beautiful place generally, and the toilets are out of the world. They're literally the best. Um, I'll be traveling to Okinawa, which is an island, and then I'll be in Tokyo. Um, this is also the first time I'm traveling solo, so the trip to Okinawa, and uh, it's a relatively smaller city with not the best public transport, which is making me a little nervous. But we'll see about it. Um, if you're here already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Say hi to Voice of Bhumika. So I started my journey at 6 p.m. IST from New Delhi and flew with ANA. It's an eight hours journey to Tokyo, and I cried for 20 percent of it while watching past lives. So I reached Tokyo at 6 a.m. Tokyo time, and uh, of course rushed to the toilet to just. experience it again went to the other terminal from where i had my flight to okinawa Hello from tokyo um i have a two hours layover here before my flight to okinawa which was spent in immigration and custom finally reached my gate by the way you can't carry fruits into this country i don't know did not know that and i was carrying an apple but luckily heard the in flight announcement and discarded it so you can't carry meat vegetables or fruits um so don't do that <laughs> From Tokyo Haneda Airport, it was another three hours to Naha, which is in Okinawa. Right outside the airport, I took a bus to the Naha city, which was a ten minutes ride. And gosh, while looking back at this video, I remember being so excited. I'm walking to my hotel in Naha now, which is which is approximately like fifteen minutes away from the airport. And this is what the streets look like. It's quite a bustling city. In Naha, I stayed at Umi Kaji Guest House, which is a hostel right in middle of the city. Um, since I was traveling solo, I thought it'd be a great way to meet people, and also it was really cheap. Um, and it was rated 4.3 on Google, so I thought, why the fuck not? This is what the washroom looked like. Um, in addition to this, there was a common um, area um, right next to the reception, and they also had vending machines. And Post this. I got ready and left for the bus stop to Cape Manzamo, but there was a 20 minutes wait time, so started watching the show right next to the bus stop. Wasn't that so cool? I saw a few more uh, dance performances and then took a bus from Kencho Kitaguchi um, to Cape Manzamo, which was a two-hour bus ride. Uh, I'm walking towards Manzamo. It's a 14 minutes walk from the bus stop, and the road is so deserted. Like I've literally not seen, I haven't seen a single person um, till now, and I'm enjoying my solo walk to be honest. However, I think the main spot would still be crowded because a lot of tourists and private buses stop there directly. So the here we go. I'm almost at Manzamo, and you see there's so many cars and private tour buses here because the, the tourists actually gets off right at Manzamo, and that's why the route was so deserted. To enter Cape Manzamo, you have to pay 100 yen, and this is what it looks like. It's very famous. It's apparently a must-visit spot in Okinawa because it looks like an elephant, I think. But this place was filled with tourists. Um, right outside Manzamo, they also have this reception area where you can buy souvenirs, buy some jewelry, and uh, grab a bite if you're hungry. Hi, I grabbed a quick bite at Manzamo itself because most of the nearby restaurants have closed right now. So they close at three and reopen at five. Um, and now I am walking towards Manza Beach. By public transport, it was 21 minutes, and by walk, it's 26 minutes. So I'm just walking. Plus, it's really windy and chilly right now, so I don't mind the walk. And honestly, I feel like walking is the best way to explore a new city or place. So it's nice, but I'm really excited to go to the beach. And hopefully, there'll be a nice restaurant nearby, so I'll. Grab something fulfilling to eat as well because I'm kind of hungry now. Um, and then I plan to leave from here by 5:30 because I don't want to miss the bus. And if I miss my bus, I'll have to take a taxi, which is around 6,000 rupees and 12,000 yen. <laughs> so I hope I don't miss my bus. Luckily, I spotted a lawson on my way and grabbed an onigiri, which is a must-have in Japan, and uh, some cold coffee. And then just went to the beach, sat there for two hours, read a book, and just chilled by myself. Then at 4:30 p.m., I took an airport shuttle bus back to Naha City. It was around 1,600 yen, and then again a two-hour journey back. To Naha, I slept throughout it. I was really tired after my red-eye flight. 
um, and then as soon as I reached the city I just walked around for a bit it's really beautiful so you, you can actually spend your evening just walking around the city and then I went to this ramen place which was recommended by my hostel host and I had miso soup ramen it was really yum and I was here with someone I met at the hostel after this we went to Kokusai Dori Street which is right in the center of Naha city and is great for souvenir shopping and to try some local seafood. Then we went to Epic which is a famous club there open till 4am and it was full of tourists and foreigners and they mostly play English music which is great. I also met a really cute boy here but that story is for another time. <laughs> <laughs> it's 3 a.m. I'm with Sehu. Yeah. We both met in our hostel. Uh, yeah. And we're on our way back from Epic. I'm 100% sure I'll regret uh. this tomorrow because I had to sleep by 12. But of course, I didn't. And uh, I have scuba diving tomorrow. So, yes, you want to say bye? Yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs> Hello, it's 8 a.m. and I've reached my pickup point. So, I've booked my diving trip driving a snorkeling trip through this website called Get Your Guide and they've arranged for the pickup and they'll manage everything today. So I'm waiting here. I'm so excited. It's my second time diving and first time the visibility was really bad. So I'm hoping this time it'll be better. And uh, let's see how it goes. Oops, and here's my pickup number came. So they've asked me to take a taxi to the diving shop and they'll reimburse me for it. But thank God there was a Japanese person who helped me so much. I soon reached the diving company office. It was called Marine House Seasar. I would booked a full day intro diving trip uh, to Karima Island. As soon as I got on the board, I had a quick instructor led session followed by snorkeling for an hour and then lunch. And then I had a 20 minutes um, dive. I have to say that this was one of the most beautiful experiences of my life. I have dived before in Sri Lanka but the visibility there was quite bad so this truly felt magical. So if you are in Okinawa, I 100% recommend doing this. I'm back in Naha uh, after diving and uh, it's 4pm. I'm really hungry as always, but surprise, surprise, that most restaurants are shut again because 3 to 5 is there close by me. But I found this local restaurant nearby, which is 400 meters away, and they're serving gyoza. So I'm headed there now. Mercury got retrograding, that place was shut. So now I'm going to another place, which is a ramen place, hoping that in their menu there will be gyoza. But yeah, it's so frustrating to be honest. But I did find gyoza at the small restaurant. I had to order using a vending machine. This place could seat only five to six people, which is actually not that odd in Japan because most of the restaurants are very, very small, cozy and intimate um, that I actually started to like. Um, post this, I went to Namino Beach with a few friends I met at the hostel. It's right in center of Naha city. So it's walking distance from the center of the city. Um, and you can just be here, enjoy the sunset. Um, that's exactly what I did. Says, I'm Post this, uh, we got some dinner and then went back to Epic. Uh, we got really late at night, so obviously I woke up late in the morning and then had to grab quick breakfast at Lawson and left for Shuri Castle, which is approximately 16 to 20 minutes away from Naha city. And uh, this is what Shuri Shrine looked like. You'll soon find out why I reached here instead of the castle. So the Google Maps location takes you to Shuri Shrine instead of Shuri Castle. Um, and that's where I went and I was wondering why it doesn't look like the castle. So now I'm out again. That was Shuri Shrine. So you come up straight and then there's an information center where you can go and ask um, the exact way to Shuri Castle. So I think it's up there from where people are coming. At Shuri Castle, they have this really fun folk you stamp rally. Um, this is what the entrance of the castle looked like. And as soon as you enter, you have to buy a ticket, which is 400 yen. Unfortunately, I couldn't see the castle because it was under reconstruction. However, it has a lot of historical significance in Okinawa. It was the palace of Ryuku Kingdom and then was also repurposed as a university campus. 
even though the castle was uh, getting reconstructed you could actually see the construction happening in real time which was quite fascinating and then just walk around the campus enjoy the view of the city however if i knew the place was shut i would have probably gone to the okinawa aquarium post this i completed my four step stamp rally and this is what the final postcard looked like i was clearly very happy and then i rewarded myself with some blue seal ice cream which is quite famous in okinawa you'll actually see people wearing blue seal t-shirt all around okinawa um then i took a bus back from shurijo castle to main naha city after reaching naha city i went to namino shrine which is in the center of the city it's really beautiful but was also very crowded um then i went back to kokosai dori street to just buy some souvenirs for home so i got a few t-shirts and chocolates and then i took a cab uh, to the naha airport to leave for tokyo i also had this instant noodle which was really spicy and yummy um and then i was flying with peach uh, to leave for tokyo Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. This was my first time solo traveling. Do subscribe for more such videos and to know more about Tokyo.